G'day aspiring engineers. I do get a lot of questions about the preferences that are set in Fusion 360. I end up typing lots and lots of answers to questions about those and I've thought of a way that I can show you all of my preferences. I'm just going to put them all up on the screen, make a screen capture of every page in the preferences and I'm going to make those available for free in a PDF so that you can go through each page of the preferences, tick the ones that are supposed to be ticked and untick the ones that are supposed to be unticked and then choose the drop downs that are there. So follow the link in the description below and download the free PDF. Welcome to Future Engineering. The future starts now. Here's Fusion 360 and you can find preferences by going up to the top right of the screen, right up here. Now you can see my name comes up when I mouse over the picture of me. If you don't have a picture uploaded, then there'll be some other icon there, but it's right up next to this little question mark here where it says help. And then if you click on your picture, the second one down in this little drop down menu here is preferences and preferences will open up. I'm just going to run these past you. And uh, as I say, download the free PDF with the description down below and you'll have all of these settings that I'm going to show you here so that you can go through and make sure that you've got the ones ticked that are ticked and unticked that are unticked on mine. I've also got a few things here that I've got settings which you can then uh, copy. For instance, uh, if you want English, you can choose English. I've got auto select for the graphics driver. I've got Z up for default model orientation. I've got recovery time interval five minutes. Now here in SolidWorks where we've got pan, zoom and orbit shortcuts, there's an option there for Fusion, one for Alias, Inventor and Tinkercad. Folks, I'm an old SolidWorks user. Now, if you're learning from me, uh, I think you'll find that it's an advantage even for the time that you're just uh, doing my tutorials is you keep the settings all the same as me. That's why I'm doing these videos so that uh, all the questions that I've had about preferences uh, can be put to one side just in the time that you're learning from me. There that is. That's under the general, uh, general tab. And then uh, we'll skip the API and we'll go to design. The screenshot for this will be in the PDF. Then uh, here's the drawing page. Now, if you've got something set other than ISO, if you've got ASME, then you've got some things here that are not available. Uh, for instance, inherit from design, but uh, uh, I'm Australian. I use ISO. Folks, uh, this is the worldwide um, standard and you could do worse. So just while you're learning from me, go with me. Um, inherit from design. I'm using an A3 page. Um, that gives me the uh, option to choose first angle or third angle. Uh, in the ISO system, it's third angle. There's some other things here. And now display line widths. And whenever you make a change here, you click apply and then OK. I'll just open that up again. After uh, drawing, go to materials. Have a look at what I've got set here. Now, if you're in the intermediate tutorials on material and physical properties, uh, you'll see that um, there's a reason why I'm keeping this on metal and steel and satin as the material name. Units and value display, have a look at these. And then also under default units for the design workspace, I've got mine set for millimeters. And uh, even when I was doing architectural, I had that set in millimeters. Preview features is the last one we'll look at. And I've got mine set to all workspaces because I love to turn these things on and look at them, well, most of the time. I've got break view uh, turned on there as a preview, uh, mesh workspace. These things are not um, in the uh, these things are not in the current version of Fusion 360 yet, unless you turn these things on. Uh, I like to have a look at them myself. So I'll apply, and uh, that's it, folks. There's a um, an overview of the preferences. Download the PDF to get those settings so that you can go through them slowly and carefully and make sure that yours are all the same as mine. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.